Well, I'm Nick Viney with Badgerland Green Farms here in Evansville, Wisconsin. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the uh, some of the uh, additions we made to our corn planter this year. Um, this year we did uh, we added a lot of precision planting parts. We've added, <coughs> excuse me, we added the E-set discs, um, the E-set seed meters. Um, we added precision planting's air force system, and we also added the clean sweep package. You can adjust the downforce on your um, Holding trash whips. We've had issues with uh, with them wanting to float up over the trash, especially in heavier residue situations. So now we're able to add some force and keep them on the ground, make a nice clean path for your for your gauge wheels to run on, so they ride smoother. Um, and with the precision planning stuff, it gives you an indicator of how well your row units are riding um, as you're going across the field, and, and you can definitely see a difference when you adjust more down on the. On the Crash whips, it gives a smoother path for those gauge wheels and the roll units ride a lot smoother. Um, it really helps you get a better stand. Um, in addition, we'd add, last year we'd added Martin trash whips, Martin spike closing wheels and drag chains. Um, then we also dribble our, dribble our starter fertilizer out the back of the roll. Um, we found when we priced the planter out that it was much more cost effective to just dribble the starter on the surface as opposed to Find two by two attachments. They're very pricey. They were up up in the thousand dollars a row range, and on a 24 row planter, that's quite an additional expense. And there's a few studies that show that you're going to get the same response out of it. just dribbling it on the surface two inches to the side of, of the seed. That was more like 50 bucks a row. Very good. Quite a significant savings for us. Um, also, this planter has is equipped with John Deere's roll command clutches shuts off when you get to a plant, a spot you've already planted and we've tied the starter fertilizer into that so it shuts them off as you, as you hit the spot you've already planted, both our seed and our starter shut off uh, so we're not wasting either one. Uh, we're also equipped to do variable rate seeding which we do on our corn and soybeans. 